Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Distinct Herbicide and Pride Seeds. Tobin on the Corn School today, joined by Matt Chappell, agronomist, uh, Pride Seeds. Matt, how's it going? It's going great, Vern. Matt, I want to talk about this corn crop this year. Uh, 2020 is an interesting year, a lot of variability, inhibitional chilling, some cold soils, but one thing you want to point, talk about is seed simulation, a big impact this year. A huge impact, Vern. So there's no denying we have our share of environmental factors that caused some poor emergence this year. Uh, but really one of the things we wanted to do is replicate and put some, uh, put some hard numbers to the value of singulation. Uh, we like to ground truth it and show what every hybrid's response really to, to good and bad singulation. Now you have gone into the plot here and you've got you know, uh, adjacent rows, one that's got good singulation, one that's got poor singulation. Talk about the results. Yeah, good singulation I think uh, you know, this is pretty good corn here, Burn. I think you'd be pretty happy with this over 200 bushel potential. And then when we look at poor singulation, we start putting those, uh, every little plant on top of each other, you know, maybe having some gaps in there. We really induce that variability. We get more tip back, you know, maybe we've even caused some competition between seeds and really induced a lot more variability and some so really yield hurt on these uh, on these specific years. Yeah. So what do we got to do? I mean, we pay more attention to that planter. Uh, maybe our, our, our you know our, our soil conditions. What do we need to take with us next spring to to avoid something like that? Yeah, I think soil conditions really got to be right. Uh, you can do everything you can to set up that planter and get it dialed in. Get your meters working right. Check those. But really, if you uh, don't have ground speed right, if you have inconsistent moisture or inconsistent residue management, you can affect the where those seeds are placed within the trench. And all of these things really can play a big impact on how, this, how every plant emerges out of the ground and does it get a fair chance of being that carbon copy down the road. And that's such a key, right? Because we don't know what the environment is going to be like next year, what the, what the weather is going to be like. If you can sort of obviously get that singulation right, get your you know get your depths right, you can take that variable away or actually at least have some control of it. That's right, and we always say, well, if you got a hybrid that has some flex to it, you know, well, if our, we're a couple inches outside of our spacing, well, that ear will compensate for it. Well, that's not actually the case. Uh, yeah, if we add some kernel rows, it looks better that ear flexed out, but it really doesn't compensate for that double or that that real gap in the stand, uh, that variability we know causes a lot of yield hurt. Uh, we can talk as much as 20% yield hit to poor singulation in the field. So really important to get singulation right from the planter in day one, and then we can really you know, stay ahead of the environmental factors that really, they have their own set of uh, quirks that can throw a wrench at us. Great insights, uh, Matt. Thanks for stopping by. Always great to have you on the Corn School. Thanks, Bern.